Sagittarius, welcome back. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's going on for you for the balance of June and the beginning of July. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, some of these things may resonate immediately. Some things may resonate in the future. A lot of my repeat clients have told me that some things have resonated right away and some things have taken a few months. So remember that it's not a personal reading. If you want a personal reading, you can hit me up at shacy.com as long as it's before July 10th where my holidays will start to take place. All that information is on the community page. You can scroll down there and check out uh, the community page would be great. I'd love to hit, have you hit the like button if that, that would be amazing. It's a fantastic and free way to support the channel, but it also helps your fellow Sagittarians be understood and other Sagittarians to find these messages. So if it helps you, we really need to help each other. That would be awesome. Thank you. I'm also going to do a giveaway, but I will tell you about that shortly. Let's get into the messages. Stay till the end or you're going to miss some important messages from the person who's coming towards you now or in the future. All right, let's see what's happening. Some of you are definitely in a very deep spiritual connection here. Okay, um, I'm definitely getting that a love is blooming here. Um, you feel this magnetic desire. It's it's like you long for this person or they long for you. You both do. There's a certain amount of yearning, feeling of yearning for one another. Okay. Spirit is letting you know that you need to trust in divine timing. Okay. It's, it's, um, there's some kind of gravitational pull between the two of you for sure. Uh, Spirit is letting you know that this is a timeless, timeless connection, meaning that you will always be connected no matter what happens to either one of you um you're going to constantly feel this pull towards one another okay so let's keep going here i'm going to get your messages here i'm going to get the person you're dealing with on the other deck the mutual energies and our exclusive chasey prism tarot deck this is the deck i'm giving away it's brand new in a box um i will ship it to you doesn't matter where you are all you need to do is hit the like button subscribing and notification bell and leave me a comment down below let me know you're interested otherwise i won't know you are or who you are and when I announce the lucky winner at the end of this month, um, you will miss it, okay? And it'll go to the next winner. So let's see what's going on for you. Let's see what is going on for you. You will see them in action shortly for those of you that are brand new, okay? Let's see what's happening. I know we're all anxious. What is going on for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the balance of June, first week of July, what can you see? What can you see? Leave me comments, and again, let me know how this resonates for you, okay? Okay, somebody is gaining some kind of clarity here. You got the sun. You could be dealing with a Leo. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Somebody's feeling kind of, you know, I'm bound, I'm tied to you. Like, I'm gaining this clarity that you are my twin or my soulmate. Some of you are twin flames, some of you are soulmates. But either way, there's this magnetic pull. I'm gaining this clarity that I'm stuck. I'm stuck on you. They're stuck on you. This person's stuck on you. Feel free to flip the energies. If it's not your energy I'm picking up, it's the other person's affecting yours, okay? Somebody's going through a completion here. This could be somebody returning to you or wanting to return to you. They feel like they can't help but return to you is almost what I'm getting for some of you. Could be dealing with a fixed sign here. A Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, or a Leo is coming up strong. So somebody may have strong Leo in their chart, or they're needing the strength to come towards you. They're just not sure what to do here. Spirit's letting you know that everything is coming together. Okay, your person has been learning a lot of lessons, and they've been feeling like they're blocked. But Spirit's saying, you know, you're not. You can still take a step here. That success lies ahead, but you've got to keep to the path. Somebody's not keeping to the path, you know. They're allowing themselves to just kind of feel like they can't do anything. Okay, the person you're dealing with really, truly wants success at overcoming these challenges. They're anxious. They're, they're like, I'm in a hurry here. This person wants your attention. So maybe you're not giving this person any attention or vice versa, and they are getting frustrated, fed up here. Uh, this person, this night is on the move. This can be somebody who can be quite impulsive. It's like, I want your attention now. You know, they may feel like you've already closed this chapter and they're getting angry and they're coming towards you, you know, wanting your attention. Like, you, know, you don't close this chapter on me. You know, I'm stuck right now. They might be bringing you that clarity because you've got the Knight of Swords and the Sun. So it's like they're anxiously trying to come and tell you something. I'm overcoming the challenges or we can overcome these challenges. Don't close this door. I'm stuck right now. I can't do anything. But they feel like you've got your sword up. 
Okay, they feel like you've got your sword up. This definitely is a past life connection for many of you. I, right off the bat, that's what I'm getting. All right, our Shacy Prism Tarot deck. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what is going on. So this is a deck I'm giving away. This I created myself. You can go to Shacy.com and check them out if you so wish. They're very easy to use. You don't have to be a tarot reader to use them. I'm getting the mutual energies between you and this divine partner. You know, <clears throat> swans are known to mate for life, right? So they're stuck on you. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and you, them, this is a divine union, but I feel like it's them more than you because I feel like you're the one that is, is saying, no, you come to me, correct. You be honest with me. And that's what they're coming to do. You know, I'm stuck. I can't do anything right now. I'm, I'm trying to overcome some challenges. You both feel like you need each other's support right now. So maybe they feel like you're not being supportive. Maybe you feel like they're not being supportive. Spirit is letting you know you can have all your dreams come true. This person, you know, vice versa, both of you, it's in your mutual energies. You're each other's whole enchilada. You can have everything together. But there's lessons that need to be learned here with the world card. And your person here is feeling like you've closed this door. Maybe they're still going through their lessons. They're feeling stuck. They feel like they can't or they don't have the strength because we've got this, you know, Leo energy here quite strongly. But this person has a huge attraction to you and they gravitate towards you. And I feel like they're almost getting angry because they feel for some reason bound and tied to something or someone else here. And I feel like they're going to come and tell you, you know, I'm closing this chapter like you know, I'm stuck right now. We can have everything together. We need to support each other. It's kind of what I'm getting. So whether that's you or them, you know, again, feel free, feel free to flip those energies. They're getting very frustrated. I can tell because uh, I did the divine reading today too. So if you haven't caught up on that, I just posted that today as well. The uh, Twin Flame Soulmate Energy Check-In updated messages. So check that out in the playlist area as well as your zodiac sign if you wish there. Uh, like your other placements if you don't know what those are you can go to astrosofa.com it's free it's easy to use calculate your other placements i definitely find that i resonate you know a lot with each one of my like my moon my rising and my venus signs so if you don't know what those are check those out okay so your person or this could be you as well maybe you're doing a new business adventure and that's why you're stuck. Maybe you're working on something or that's what they want to tell you is that they've been working on something and they've been stuck, you know, on a new business trying to create something new here. With the sun, this is all rest but assured. I mean, beautiful energy right out the gate is the sun. This is about abundance, happiness, clarity coming in. I feel like your person is coming in, flying into you, letting you know that they're being quite successful. They're trying to close a chapter. And they're building possibly a business here. Could be a creative business or an I it doesn't matter. The point is that, that it's they're stuck right now because maybe they're growing this business. It could be. Um, but either way, this person is like flying in on the fastest horse possible, is what I'm getting to come and tell you what's going on. Because they see that you're guarded and that you're not open to them even talking to you or they can't stand your silence. Let me know. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. say what. I'm fumbling my words all day, I swear to you. Your person is extremely, I'm picking up their energy. They're frustrated. They're getting angry. Okay, they want your attention. You're silent. This is what I'm getting. Or if it's not you, it's them. Somebody is getting really fed up and impatient here. It's like, I want success. I want your attention. Or I'm getting success, I'm getting attention. Or you're getting attention, they don't like it. Either way, somebody is getting fed up, frustrated, and anxious. And they're going to take impulsive action is what I'm getting here. Oh, something you said or did or something happening is triggering this person. You have them triggered. Oh, oh. Ooh, I can't make this up. They're angry. Somebody's angry. Somebody's angry. Maybe they feel like you're angry. And they can't stop thinking about you. Okay, somebody can't stop thinking about you and you've triggered them and somehow made them angry or vice versa. I am very triggered by you. Okay, so this person is on the move. They're on the move. So I'm, I'm seeing here that...
this person could be returning to you with a message or some kind of communication like they're getting really anxious this could all be their thoughts you know i'm stuck right now i'm 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 going through all this stuff and i want your support and and they see that you're not talking to them and the anger is building I feel like it's going to be building enough to come into contact with you. But let's see what's going on in their energy with the other deck. What is going on with Sagittarius, Spirit of Interest? I just saw the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Six of Swords. They're fed up with the stress. They want to move on from that. Your person is thinking about you, thinking and having memories of you. Uh, and it's really bothering them. What is going on with Sagittarius, Person of Interest? They may have been waiting for you. They may be waiting for you to communicate, and maybe you're not, and so they're getting really angry because you're silent. Four of Wands, waiting for... Ah, they feel like you might be waiting to reconnect, or they're waiting for you to reunite, come together to celebrate, to have a good time. That is the 1111 card too. So definitely twin flame energy going on here. So this is a very magnetic pull. Clarify the four of wands for Sagittarius person of interest. Yeah, they're thinking about the future. They're thinking about you. They're wondering what you're doing. You're silent. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with you, Sagittarius. It's driving me crazy. Is there somebody else? They're wondering maybe if there's somebody else. They're trying to trust their intuition about what's going on with you. Could be a Pisces. Clarify the moon. They're thinking about taking the action. Yep, they are. Again, the Knight of Swords. So they're thinking, I'm stuck and I'm anxious and I'm getting fed up and you're silent and, and uh, you know, how do we make these plans for the future? And, and they feel like things are hidden here and it's driving them crazy. So there can be that, you know, they feel like you're hiding things from them. What's this King of Wands up to for Sagittarius? They're missing you. They have some kind of regret. So maybe there's something they did or said to make you angry or trigger you and vice versa. You both are feeling like maybe there's a lack of support, but yet you're feeling like you could have everything together. Okay, so maybe they regret not taking the action here. Yeah. They're missing you. They're wondering how they can take the action, you know. So I feel like you're not talking to them. Could be dealing with a cancer. Clarify the chariot. Where's this chariot going? Regret not taking, driving towards you. Not seeing that I could have success with you. Maybe they regret not feeling like they couldn't overcome the challenges. Yeah, they're feeling guilty. They're feeling depressed. They're going through anxiety, wondering what you're up to. Missing you. They feel like you're moving forward without them and getting attention. It's really bothering them. They're keeping an eye on you. They're watching what you're doing. They're, but they're keeping everything to themselves. They're, they're not telling you that they really do want to come in towards you and spend time with you here. They might come in all of a sudden because I'm telling you, <laughs> this knight wants to get moving here. They're having this realization. Look at this, nine to the ten of swords. They're freaking out here. They feel like you've ended this, like you're done. Like you've closed this chapter and they've been keeping all their emotions all, all clamped up. It's almost like they've been waiting for you maybe to come to them or you to open up because you've got your sword up. They feel like they can't talk to you. And so they're getting triggered. They're having all these memories and it's haunting them. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. I hope this resonates for you. Let me know in the comment section. Again, don't forget to hit the like button if you want to get in on the Shacy Prism Tarot giveaway. Leave a comment down below. Let me know you're interested. End of the month, I will hold the the, uh, the final draw. I'll do a video and pulling out the name. Okay, and it doesn't matter again where you are. So again, hit the like button. Subscribing is free. Notification bell so you'll be notified when I announce the lucky winner and a comment down below. Okay. Doesn't matter if you're in Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, Jamaica. I'll ship them to you for free. It's just my way of giving back and saying thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for hitting the like button and allowing others to hear these messages. So I send you much love, much light. I will see you all again approximately a week. Bye for now.